Hello there, I'm Dr. Bree. I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in whole person holistic pelvic health. And today I have a really cool, quick, dynamic mobility workout that is something you can do regularly if you have pelvic floor tension and tightness. This is gonna help you. So you can do this daily in order to kind of prepare yourself to ultimately work up to longer workouts. But this is something you can fit into your schedule every single day if you want. It's a great warm up for the day. So begin by putting your hands gently on your thighs and just begin rubbing your thighs and all over your hips, your side hips, your glutes. You can rub your belly, your low back, this area back here. Just rub, rub, rub to bring circulation, blood flow to the muscles and the fascia of this entire area that surrounds your pelvis. So everything hooks into your pelvis, your leg muscles, your back muscles, your abdominal muscles. So just rub gently to bring that circulation to all of your tissues in the area. All right, finish up. And our next move is gonna be a standing cat and cow. So you're gonna exhale all your air out, hinge at your hips. So sit your glutes, your butt back, your knees are bent and your hands are on your thighs. Now, if this is too much, you can put your hands on a countertop or a chair if it's too much to have them here. So inhale into cow pose, really, walk your butt side to side, really kind of feel like you're moving it side to side and feel your sitting bones, your butt bones, drawing apart, widening. And exhale, this time tuck your butt under and really pull your low belly to your spine, keeping your knees bent. Inhale, cow, feel the sitting bones widen apart and exhale, cat, curving your spine, tucking your tailbone under, feeling the sitting bones draw together. Inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. One more time each way, so inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. So we're moving our spine in all directions and activating and releasing the pelvic floor with that. Now we're gonna do what I call moving through mud. I want you to feel as if you are walking through sticky mud. So you have to pull your leg up and then set it down. Now you can hold on to something as you do this, but what you're doing is moving your leg in a swirl. So it's not just straight up and down, it's going in, up, and around. Really feel that you're setting your foot down solidly every time you do this, and you don't have to go fast. In fact, slow can be really good. Breathe. And again, this is activating gently and mobilizing all of the muscles around the pelvic floor and the pelvic floor itself. It's really helpful to gently activate these muscles before we release and stretch them. So one more time, each side moving through mud. Okay, feet nice and wide, feet point forward, widen them maybe a little bit more, and you are gonna inhale, exhale, bend your knee. So knee is pretty much over your ankle and sit your butt back. Really feel that stretch on the inner thigh right here. And hands are on your thighs. Again, you're sitting back and just stretching into this deep pelvic floor and inner thigh release. And switch to the other side, slowly, slowly. Knee, bent knee is over the ankle and this leg is straight feeling that inner thigh stretch. Sit your butt back. Be sure that you're not rounded and hunchy at your spine. You wanna be flat in your back. And one more time on each side. <sighs> Breathing, feeling that stretch. And the other way. Good. 
Now bend your knees and you're going to heel toe your feet in and come up to stand. Now, I want you to feel that as you rotate your hips, toes in and heels out, feel that your sitting bones are releasing apart, your butt bones. Now, the pelvic floor muscles go right in between these butt bones, these sitting bones. Your pelvic floor is right between them. So when you internally rotate your hips, you can feel them kind of open apart, the sitting bones and the pelvic floor release. Now go the other way, hip external rotation. And you should feel the sitting bones kind of drawing together and the pelvic floor activating a little bit. The butt muscles activating. It's like everything kind of lifts up. Now let's go into the release again. So toes in, heels out, hip internal rotation, sitting bones are apart. And I want you now to hold on to your sitting bones with that internal rotation position and actually grab them and hinge forward a little bit and feel that you can separate them apart. I know this is weird, but it's really, really helpful. Now from this position, see if you can just wiggle and jiggle. Just let everything be soft and jiggly. You can feel almost like you're trying to shift from right to left or feel like you're trying to lift your feet off one at a time, a, a sticky carpet, or like your feet are glued to the ground and you're trying to kind of lift up one side and then the other. And you'll, what'll happen is your butt will start jiggling and your pelvic floor muscles will release too. So I know this is weird, but again, keep trying it. This is a great way to release the butt and the pelvic floor muscles themselves. Let's just do two more breaths. One more breath and bend your knees, stand up. Great job trying that. Shake out your legs. It's just kind of fun too. <laughs> so shake out your legs and for our last stretch, I want you to do again that internal rotation at your hips and I'm gonna grab yoga blocks. You may not need these, but you might. So internally rotate your hips, toes in, heels out. Inhale to stand, exhale all your air out, and hinge at your hips. So you're really feeling your hip creases deepen and your sitting bones widen apart. Your sitting bones, you can even grab them and widen them apart, releasing the pelvic floor, opening the hips, and hands are on yoga blocks. Now, if this is too low, you can have your hands up on a countertop or a chair or something like that. But yoga blocks are great, or some people are so flexible they can touch the floor. But just make sure that your back is straight. You are not rounded or hunched. It's better for you to actually bend your knees, but keep your back straight than it is to have straight knees and a hunched back. So we want our back to be straight, tailbone lifting toward the sky, sitting bones releasing apart and breathing. Heels are out and toes are in. <sighs> One more deep breath. <sighs> and now bring your feet so that the toes face forward Bend your knees, hands are on your thighs, and you carefully come up to stand. And just stand for a moment, shaking out your legs. Put one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart, and just feel that release and that openness in your pelvic area. Feel as if it's a flower that's wide open, blossomed open between your sitting bones. Or maybe feel like you have peacock tail feathers that are spreading up around behind you from your tailbone being released and open, not clenched like this. We're now released and open. So just breathing and feeling. Nice job. And with practice and time, you're gonna feel these exercises more and more and more. So I hope you enjoyed that dynamic workout for pelvic floor release. Give it a like if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and check the video description for more ways we can work together. 
I'll see you next time. And until then, remember, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. Bye.